Our top story tonight, President Trump proposing an increase in tariffs on Chinese imports into this country from 10 to 25 percent. The U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer released a statement saying in part this, quote, the Trump administration continues to urge China to stop its unfair practices, to open its market, to engage in a true market competition. Regrettably, instead of changing its harmful behavior, China has illegally retaliated against U.S. workers, farmers, ranchers, and businesses. Chinese officials responded to the proposed increase, calling it, quote, blackmail, and saying they would respond with retaliatory measures. Joining us tonight to uh, uh, give us some inside views from the administration's perspective, the U.S. Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross. Mr. Secretary, great to have you with us. Good to be on. Increasing the tariffs. Uh, the Chinese have been recalcitrant. They obviously have not been forthcoming in reducing barriers, both uh, trade barriers as well as specifically limitations on U.S. exports. Uh, what choice does the administration have here but to raise uh, tariffs and to make them, if you will, uh, feel it? We, we really have to do it, Lou. The president ultimately wants less tariffs, less non-tariff trade barriers, level playing field, no subsidies, the whole nine yards. But to get there, we have to make it more painful for them to continue these bad practices than to modify them. That's what this is all about. And at what point do you think that the Chinese are going to come to their senses and understand, uh, because they have been spoiled, uh, as the president has noted, uh, by previous administrations who rolled over for anything the Chinese wanted. There has been no prosecution of the Chinese uh, uh, espionage front companies in this country stealing uh, everything from technology to trade secrets, some $600 billion in, in, in intellectual uh, property every, every year. Right. Uh, in addition to the trade uh, surpluses they've been running against this country uh, from the moment they entered the WTO almost two decades ago. Well, you have to go back to that very date when they came in. The idea of bringing them in on the theory that they would now play by the rules was a terribly flawed theory. And the foolishness was not to have a real enforcement mechanism in case the theory proved untrue as it has proven to be. That was the to double flaw in what was done then. But because it's gone on for so long, it's going to take a lot of effort to make them reconsider what they're doing. They know very well what they're doing. There's no intellectual problem. It's just we need to give yeah. them enough motivation to fly right. And, and, and fly right is something that is not obviously uh, either comprehended or comprehended and not uh, respected or acknowledged by the national left-wing media, who seem to be incapable of doing basic mathematics. Uh, but for that matter, so are the Koch brothers uh, challenged. Uh, particularly Charles Koch, the head of Koch Industries, attacking uh, the president, the administration's tariffs, uh, saying that they're ridiculous, uh, saying that they harm. He's not concerned about harming American workers and the middle class uh, and businesses. He's worried about foreign workers and foreigners. Uh, I, I mean, the preposterous nature of what the Koch Industries uh, and the Koch brothers are doing here in attacking with $400 million Republican candidates because they want open borders, you know, free illegal immigration, and uh, they don't mind if uh, the Chinese take $600 billion in American intellectual property. It is the darndest thing I, I can imagine having to deal with uh, from your perspective. Well, the left-wing press doesn't get it. They don't want to get it. But I'll tell you who does get it the average American citizen, yep. the average American worker, and even the American farmers who've been singled out for some of the retaliation. Our farmers, our workers are real patriots. I was traveling with the president last week in Iowa and Illinois, and the enthusiasm of the crowds was even greater than it was during the campaign. 
during the entire time that we were at the reopening of the big U.S. steel plant in Illinois, every single person in the audience stood the whole time. It was amazing to see the reaction, the emotional reaction. You know, the worker well, who just got a bigger paycheck because of lower withholding, the worker who just got a job back, the worker who just uh, well, got a bonus, he knows. Mr. He Secretary, knows. Mr. Secretary, I think you're exactly right. I also think that uh, uh, the... Uh, the elitist global uh, orthodoxy on Capitol Hill, and I'm talking about the bought and paid for uh, 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 Speaker of the House and the uh, majority leader of the Senate, they're not used to having to deal with a president who actually means, uh, as he said in the campaign, to lift all American workers. Uh, and what the result has been a, 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 just extraordinary. Uh, low unemployment rate, record low unemployment rates for minorities in this country, uh, a prosperity that uh, is it's remarkable in and of itself if it had been at the end of his first term uh, or even at the end of his second, some would argue. But yes, to well, have I... it happen in a year and a half, uh, this president is is proving who he is and what his leadership does mean to Americans of, uh, you know, uh, throughout our society. He is, he does, and if all politicians would keep their promises, the world would be a much safer place. Right. The president takes those promises as real commitments, and there isn't a single one that he has blinked on, despite all the backwash from the left wing. Mm -hmm. I think what's really driving the left wing nuts is that it's working. Remember, they were all saying, oh, Trump's policies will bring gloom and doom. Yeah. He'll provoke a depression. You don't hear from Paul Krugman very often these days, do you? Well, uh, or Larry Summers or <laughs> any of them. Well, um, and by the way, and, and for that alone, uh, we're deeply in your debt and, and debt to the president. <laughs> uh, we appreciate it. Mr. Secretary, keep up the great work. Uh, uh, we appreciate it uh, mightily. Thanks Thank so much. Thank you, Lou. We're going to win this. Amen. Thank you so much.